guys, welcome back. Okay, so I am excited out of my mind right now <laughs> because I have two palettes in my hands that I have just been like, oh my gosh, when are they launching? I gotta get them, okay? Now, these are the newest addition to Norvina's collection. Now, this is volume two. So this is volume two and this is volume three and they both dropped today. Okay, so I was at Sephora waiting for them to open. <laughs> like, let your girl in, let your girl in, okay? Cause I just, I cannot wait. Now, I'm gonna do things a little bit backwards today because this palette is just so beautiful to me. Oh my gosh, with the, just the orange packaging and the beautiful butterflies. Volume three is, just, I can't wait to jump into this, okay? So I'm gonna focus on volume three first, <laughs> okay? I know I'm doing things a little bit backwards, but let me just go ahead and show you volume two from her collection, just in case you wanna check this out and just see what it looks like. Now you guys, pictures do not do these palettes justice. In my opinion, these palettes are so beautiful in person i'm holding it to the side because i don't want the ring light you can see the glare from the ring light so you can still see the colors as they are in the palette even when i hold it to the side so y'all this palette mm, it's beautiful but yeah i'm not focusing on volume two today <laughs> we're going out of order today okay i'm focusing on volume three because it is something about this palette here volume three that's just got me feeling some type of way okay so y'all maybe it's because it's fall is that it because it's fall and i'm like ready to jump into these beautiful fall colors but y'all know i'm about to do a look that's like just as colorful as spring and summer itself okay but y'all look at this palette look at it she is gorgeous. Okay, so enough of me farting around. Big mirror, all that good stuff. Um, I'm probably going to have some information scrolling somewhere for you guys to check out while I do some swatches on this palette because I'm going to swatch the whole thing for you guys and then we'll move into a look. Okay. <laughs> volume three swatched all oh, these colors are gorgeous and I can tell that with these pigments there is some serious serious color going on here okay but I can also tell that I need to be careful with how I use these <laughs> so I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do I think I'm just gonna start throwing color on my eyes and see what happens, okay? Cause I am too excited. This palette is really, really pretty. This light blue shimmer is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. This green here, this orange, this purple, very, very pretty. So let me just go ahead, prep my lids with some of my Too Faced Born This Way concealer and then we will check out this palette. Okay, you guys, so let's get started. It makes it so much easier that she just has letters and numbers for the names on these shadows. So I'm gonna start out with this bright yellow shade here, which is E4. And I'm just going to place that on my inner portion of my lid. Hello. <laughs> okay. Pigmentation pigmentation, okay? I'm 
very bright, very easily buildable, but that pigmentation is there. Okay, so let's check out this dark orange up here, which is E5. Okay, I wasn't ready. I was not ready. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Um, yeah, I wasn't ready. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. No complaints on pigmentation so far. This pressed pigment formula is off the chain. This is actually brighter and more pigmented than I wanted it to be. <laughs> I'm about to be looking like some candy corn up in this mug. Yeah, if you were worried about pigmentation, don't be. Because as y'all see, I'm not even using a white base. Okay, so yeah, now I think I'm gonna go into this bright pink here, which is B3. So I'm gonna take some of that pink next to the orange. And there is like barely barely any powder or kick up in the pan which I would expect a lot just because of the pigmentation but no now I'm going back into the yellow just to blend this out in the front into that orange a little bit better I would say as far as kick up, there's just there's just a slight amount. I would say the yellow is showing the most kick up in the pan, but nothing that's going to drive me insane. Okay, so for the outer portion of my lid, I wanna go into this purple shade here, which is B4. So I'm gonna go into this one here. This pigmentation, I'm telling you guys, it's crazy. You definitely don't want to just dig your brush in and go crazy with these colors because the pigmentation is amazing. And it's blending out fairly nicely. Okay, so those colors are blending out beautifully. Of course, I'm gonna try out some of these shimmer shades. So I think I'm going to go into E5, which is the purple shimmer here, and place that on the outer portion of my lid. And I'm just going in with a dense flat brush and I am going to spray it a little bit. And the shimmers are packed in the pan kind of densely, so it's probably ones that you want to use your fingers with, but if you know me, you know I don't use my fingers for shimmers, okay? Very pretty. Now I'm just going to go in with a little bit more of that dark purple shade that I have in the corner just to blend out that edge a bit. Okay, so yeah, for the shimmers, I would say that they feel very hard pressed in the pan, but they are gorgeous. So I'm gonna go into D4, this beautiful shimmer shade here. I don't really know how to describe it. It kind of looks a little duochrome-y. So I'm gonna go into this one here and place that on the inner portion of my lid. I'm gonna start off with a brush, dry, just because I'm curious of how it will look with a brush dry. <laughs> okay, that's pretty, very, very pretty. But there is fallout when you use it dry. So be careful of that. So I'm gonna try a little bit wet. Okay. <laughs> okay, add a little bit more pop to it when it's wet. 
but you can definitely use it dry. I'm just really happy to know that I can use it with a brush and I don't have to use my finger. Okay, so this is a point where you decide if you wanna keep it simple, nice and cohesive, smoke out your lower lash line with some purple and orange and keep it pushing, right? But no, I would like <laughs> to explore some of these greens in this palette, okay? So we are gonna bring some green onto our lower lash line and I want to use one of my LA Girl Neon Liners and this one is in the shade Gotcha. So this is a bright green eyeliner. Hello. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, you don't have to go crazy like me, but I definitely want my eye look today to be a representation of this palette, okay? So on the outer portion of my lower lash line, um, I think I'm gonna go into B2, which is this darker green here. So I'm gonna use a small, very, very small fluffy brush and try and smoke that out just a little bit. Okay, so that's nice, very nicely pigmented. A little powdery in the pan, but the pigmentation is nice. Watermelon vibes. <laughs> now I'm going back into that dark purple just a little bit so that I can kind of just connect the upper and lower lash line a little bit better. Yeah, I don't really think these palettes are designed for people who don't like color. <laughs> so yeah, if you don't like color, there's no point in buying this palette, okay? Okay, and for the inner portion of my lower lash line, I wanna take this bright green shade here, which is C5 beautiful color c5 see how that pops on the lower lash line inner corner i'm going to try it dry first okay pigment is there now i'm going to try it wet Yeah, that looks a little bit brighter. So I think I'm just going to add just a dab, <laughs> a dab more of the yellow matte shade just to bring that pop back in since I've been putting so many shadows all over it. Yeah, there we go. Just to bring that brightness back. Hello, sunshine. <laughs> yes, that is gorgeous. Okay, so I'm gonna throw on my upper liner and mascara, and then I'll come back and give you my first impression thoughts on this Norvina Volume 3 eyeshadow palette. Okay, so let's talk about this palette. <laughs> this Norvina Volume 3. First off, the packaging, gorgeous, okay? Look at this, it has this Beautiful design of butterflies, and I love butterflies, okay? I have them tattooed all over my back <laughs> and on the back of my neck, so I love butterflies. They just kind of symbolize freedom to me, so this packaging has a special place in my heart, but I do love the orange coloring. Now, these shadows, okay, you get, what, 25 shadows in here, extremely pigmented, pressed pigments, beautiful shimmers. My only complaint with this palette is that the shimmers are pressed a bit hard, in my opinion. But, I mean, even though they're pressed hard, they do show up because, you know, as you saw on my eyes, they definitely show up even though they're pressed hard. So, that's really my only complaint. There's a little bit of kick up in the pan because these pigments are extremely pigmented <laughs> okay um i love this palette now if you're someone who is looking at all of these 
palettes, all these volumes that she dropped back to back to back. One, two, three, boom, boom, boom. Like me, you guys know I love color. I love makeup. I love ABH's formula. So I was getting them, <laughs> period. Whether I liked them or not, I was going to get them to try them out. I love them. So far, volume one I loved. I know some of the shadows in there were a little bit tricky for some people, but I love this formula. I don't know. I actually like this palette better than volume one, and that's just because of the fact that there's more variety in here as far as range of looks that you could do. This one definitely has more variety in my opinion. This is for someone who would like to play around in some color, but you still wanna be able to do your regular, basic, neutral, warm eye, smoky eye, <laughs> whatever. Now, it doesn't go very dark though. I will say that there's no like black or really deep, dark, dark brown in here. So it doesn't go that deep, but if you like these colors and you wanna kinda play around in some shadows that aren't gonna give you too many problems, or any issues with pigment, this is a great palette, okay? So I like this palette. If you're trying to decide which one to buy, you kind of have to, I guess, decide how much you like blue. Cause I know the first Norvina was purple heavy and this volume two, <laughs> which I'm gonna play in, if not tonight, tomorrow, volume two is very blue heavy. So this is one that of course, y'all know I love, love, love as well. Can't wait to jump into this and see what's popping. But as you can see, this one is very blue. It goes nice and deep with the dark brown and the dark black. And it just has some really gorgeous, deep blues and greens in here. So I would definitely say if you like blue, this would be the one to get. If you like purple, get the first one, <laughs> okay? But for this Norvina Volume 3, I love it. I feel like this eye look fits me very well. It really just kind of expresses my personality. What my eye looks like right now, that's how I feel inside, okay? <laughs> so anyways, those are my first impression thoughts on this Norvina Volume 3. Hopefully you enjoyed going through this look with me. If you like this video, go ahead and hit like. If you're not subscribed to me, go ahead and subscribe. Hang out with your girl. I'm here a few times a week trying out new palettes. So yeah, that's it you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by to check out my video talking about the Norvina Volume 3. And hopefully I will see you on my next video. Toodles!